Beautiful. So we right now um, are going to be, so right now we are chapter 21, the final chapter in the book of Judges. It's, I'll, I, the story is broken down into a couple of um, uh, uh, of, of sections. Okay, you'll 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 see there's 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 a couple of interesting stories, but all again relating back to what happened. The Ish Israel nishba ba mitzpah lemor. So the mitzpah was kind of where they were all. Were, that was their 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 um, uh, place of encampment. Okay, there now Israel's side had taken an oath at mitzpah. What was the oath? None of us must ever give his daughter in marriage to the ben Benjaminites. Strong. Now they made they made a pact. Now, actually, going back to this, this entire book is not written as is the Torah, by the way, in chronological order. You will see that things go back and forth and back and forth. And there are actually two um uh two 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 schools of thought. One say chronologically, after the war, they went back again, they all gathered again in Mitzpah, and they made this oath. Others say, no, 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 no. This is actually what happened before the war. What happened before the war, um, then the Israelites made this oath. And it will make a big difference. Do you see it? So, it, so in other words, it's kind of like telling us beforehand what was done. In other words, right before the war, they said, if we beat them, none of us are, are ever... No, no one is allowed to give uh, brides to uh, any, call, any girls to Benjaminites, okay? Or chronologically, after the war, they all gather back up again for debriefing, so to speak, to, et cetera, and and this was uh, um, how do you call it? This was decided. But regardless, there's an oath that they make, and they make that now as a punishment to the to the tribe of Benjamin, no one's allowed to give their daughters to them. And they gathered, the entire nation gathered in Beit El. And they sat there, they gathered there until the evening, Lifna Elohim in prayers. And they wailed and they wept bitterly. Why? They said, Why? Eternal God, why has this happened in Israel? <clears throat> Israel shevet echad, that one tribe must now be missing from Israel or must go extinct. Achorat, early the next day, ha'am, the, the entire gathering, those people who were there, they all gathered. They built an altar. And they brought forth burnt offerings um, and offerings of well-being. Okay, so um, <coughs> uh, if if you want to look at um, they 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 recognized that that someone was missing, right? There was a big division, and this is why, by the way, later on, why, why it's almost kind of silly if after the war they they all go up to Mitzpah, suddenly now they are in Beit El. And they realize that one is one is missing. Obviously, one is missing. It was the enemy, so to speak, at that point. Of course, it wasn't. So this this is where this is where there is there is belief that this verse one is actually kind of just letting us know. Oh, by the way, before the war, this was done, and now we're going to see the effects of it after the war. Because obviously, the war did not only take over. Um, and we saw the numbers. If you remember, it was like you know like like tens and tens of thousands oh, of yeah. of people. Uh, killed, and we did the math, and if and and at that amount, it would be days and days and days. So the war lasted definitely um, for quite some time. Okay, uh, and this after the war, they recognize that one of the brethren, one of the tribes, is missing. So, number five, Vayemru bnei Israel, bnei Israel said, "Mi asher lo ala bakahal mi kol shiftei Israel al Adonai." The Israelites, is there anyone from all the tribes of Israel who failed to come up to the assembly before God? For a solemn oath had been taken concerning anyone who did not go up to God at Mitzpah, he shall be put to death. Oh, yeah. It's 
quite uh, um, again. This is this is now they're going back and forth, as I mentioned, in terms of the trajectory of 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 line, a timeline. So they said, has anybody did not go up to mitz to 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 uh, to mitzpah? What where was mitzpah again? That was I want to show you. That was the first one, mitzpah. That's where they made that oath. Where they, did they go to offer? Uh, where did they gather after the war? In Beit El. Okay, so there are two different places. So now they are saying, who did not come up with us? Who was not there when we made that oath? Anybody, any idea why they're why they're asking that? They're actually it's two, it's two different, and it's going to be very important to play. Why? <clears throat> why do they why do they care who did not go up with them to mitzpah? So this is twofold. Number one, whoever was not there did not come up to fight. So in other words, they left the community. They did not come to fight. And two, they didn't make the oath. And you're going to see how this plays out. Okay? So in other words, there, it's two-pronged. They do not participate in beating the Benjaminites who were opposed to wiping out the Giboa. And two, those people also did not make the oath of not giving their daughters to the Benjaminites. All right? So what happens? The Israelites, Israelites now relented and they felt sorry for their kin, the Benjaminites. And they said, This day one tribe will be cut off from the entire nation of Israel. What can we do? What can we do to provide wives for those who were left? Who were left, by the way? Do you remember who were left? 600 uh, soldiers. 600. Remember 600 that escaped? <laughs> and they hid for four months in, 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 in the city, in Sela. And uh, and while they were hiding, the, the, the Israelites wiped all the other uh, cities. So now there are 600 that are left. They're saying, what are we going to do for them for wives? Uh, in order to, uh, uh, how do you call it, to make sure. Uh, however, we, we promised, we made, we made uh, an oath to God. However, we made an oath and we cannot go back on the oath. Okay? This, by the way, will also play at the end, the last, last verse of this, of this parak. And I'll show it to you. And it is Baimim Haim Ein Melech Beisrael Isha Yashar Ben Aviase. There is no king, and at that point, actually, there were also no, there was no, um, there was no judge either. Why is it here? Because they did not. A king would have been able to make make an edict and would have would have been able to um, uh, undo their oath. They had enough numbers, but now they don't have. They feel they don't have that ability to do that, so they're stuck within this this uh, oath that they've done and there's no way out. So they're trying to figure out how the heck are we going to um, uh, make sure that there is no, um, uh, that, 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 that that Benjamin does not get wiped out. Okay? So we promised, what can we do? Vayamru, they said, Mi echad mishifte Yisrael asher lo alayl Adonai ha-mitzpah. They're asking that question again. Who is again who is from amongst the tribes who did not go up to Mitzpah? Love, and then they looked at it and they, they and they counted. And they recognized that who there was not one person did not join the war from this town of Yavesh Gilad. And so they did a roll call of the troops. And lo and behold, there is not one from the inhabitants of Yavesh Gilad was present. So there they dispatched 12,000 of the warriors. They commanded them and they gave them uh, the following orders. Go and wipe out the entire 
um, city of Yavesh Gilad, the Hanashim Vehataf, including women and children. And this is what you shall do. Kol zachar v'chol isha yudat mishkav zachar tacharimu. Any male and every woman who has known uh, uh, sexual relations, who's known, who's no, who, who's been taken, um, you shall you shall uh, wipe away. So they did that, but they found amongst the inhabitants of Yavesh Gilad Arbameot Naravitula, four hundred virgins, Asher Loyada Ish Lemishkav Zachar, that which they did not know, um, um, uh, had not had any relations with a, with with a man. Vayaviu Tamela Machane Shilo, they brought them to the camp of Shilo, Asher Beirut Knan, which is in the land of Knan. I want to bring to your attention, if somebody didn't, if, if you look closely at, at the, is there something that, that's not quite straight within that verse? Do you see anything that actually stands out? And I'll give you a hint. Land of Canaan. Now I'm going to show you. Clue. And it has to do with this. So how many, how many, how many virgins were there? Four hundred. Four hundred. So now I'm gonna now I'm gonna translate to you exactly as it's written. And they found amongst the inhabitants of Yavesh Gilad Arbameot four hundred Naravitula. A virgin, a Sherla Yadaish who did not know the man. Arbameot, a virgin, four hundred. This but is in the six, there were six hundred soldiers. We'll get to that later. This is in the singular. What I what I put in square, Arbameot. It should have been Arbameot Naarot Betulot, Naarot Betulot, right? A Sherla Yadu Ish. It is in the wrong tense. Do you see it? Yeah. So one explanation is this is the same same what? same verb, exactly the same verbiage as was in the story up in chapter um uh 19. When remember I told you that they were in that they were they went to the city and an old man brought them in. Do you remember that? And yeah. then, and then the the people of the city gathered around the house, um, and they're using kind of it's almost kind of like foreshadowing. Let us using that same the same words that they used both in Lot and using the same words as they used in chapter nineteen. I can show it to you. Now, Asher Daish. Okay, so they have this great idea. They realized. Remember, I told you that there's two things that you're going to look for. Number one is who did not join them for war. And number two, what was the second thing? Who did not make the the oath, right? So there, there are two components. One, they were looking for who did not come up to war. If they were not, they didn't come up to war, they didn't make the oath. If they didn't make the oath, what happens? What happens to those women? Are, are they permissible? Yes. Yeah, yeah, they're 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 not included in they're not included in the 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 um the the, the oath of 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 not allowing any, any um any anybody to get married to the uh, how do you call it not 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 per, not giving permission to uh for, for uh, how do you call it for um any of the, of of Jewish maidens to 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 the shevet binyamin do you see it okay mm -hmm. now why. Now, why? Again, why? Why were they wiped out? So, simple reason is to make them available. But why didn't they just, you know, why didn't they just go to the city and ask them, you know, listen, you know, the only, the only, you know, you guys can be the saviors here. This city obviously is treated as as um, traitors. 
literally as treasonous, treasonous for not showing up to battle. And part of it was, um, it goes very deep in terms of the promises that were made to Joshua, that everybody calls a har, that they will always stay together, fight. And here they're showing that they're not included in it. And that is punishable by death. Okay, so that's number one. And two, again, the 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 women uh, that were, were eligible now are eligible because they're not included in the oath. So almost like it, it's, it serves uh, a double purpose. Okay. So now we have 400 virgins. Now the whole community, the whole gathering uh, sent word to the Benjaminites, Asher Beselarimon, who were hiding in Selarimon, Vaikraulam Shalom, and they offered them, they told them, we're coming in peace, we're not coming here for war. Vayashov Binyamin Baita, here thereupon the Benjaminites returned back. To their lands, and they gave them those 400 virgins, which they captured, which they uh, kept alive. They were not one, uh, they were not destroyed as the rest of the city. From the women of Yavesh um, Gilad, um, however, they will, you do the math 400 men, uh, 600 men, 400 virgins. There's a shortage of 200. 200. Okay, so in other words, they were still not enough. Just, sh I want to just show you. I meant to show you beforehand, and I'm sorry. Yep, done. So, if you want to see. Yeah, that's Where is he here? Where? So, this is. This is where Giboa is. Okay. And if you look at it, it's somewhere around here. I'm going to change the color. In the bottom map, it's somewhere around here. Well, it's, right literally, right. it's literally on the border. All these maps are not exact, but it's it, it's I, I it's north of Jerusalem. North, uh, mm -hmm. Northwest, mm -hmm. a little bit, of Jerusalem. And what's mm -hmm. hey, here's, here's Jerusalem, by the way. Okay, this is not the scale. This is somebody, it's not exactly, uh, this is not a satellite, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, accuracy. So somebody, but it's somewhere literally on the border. Uh, but for us in the story, if we read it, it was actually in, in a frame. So it, it must have been crossed over, but it was so close. It was almost like on the border that Benjaminites actually lived in Givon. Okay, but this is this is what we're talking about. Okay, it's right here. And Jerusalem is right here. Okay, so let's continue. Well, any questions? Yeah, what year is this supposed to be? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I'll tell you right now. The year is roughly. Oh, it says, it says eighty BC or something. No, the year is roughly. Uh, 1150 um, uh, BC. So 3,000 years ago. These guys don't seem to value human life. They're worse than Hamas. Um, I, I again, I, I, I don't think you can, you can, you can't put your uh, today's, <laughs> if you know, three or four thousand years ago that there was, um, how they dealt with. Life. Treason, this, and I'm and I'm not trying to 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 vindicate, but it, but you can't put your way of thinking. I mean, uh, you don't. You only have to go back to the 1600s when you know you you got beheaded in England. You know what I mean? So it's uh it's it's not it's it's not that far off where where you know if you were uh, if you were a witch you were burned. You know what is a witch? I mean, how how long ago was that? Yeah, but we 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 pay homage to our ancestors. Right, right. Again, but but when you say you pay homage, it's there is. Again, you can't. It, it's a very, very. And by the way, part of the story is showing us the the um. I guess the degradation of society at that point, at that point, how low that they were in terms of that they went into civil war of what they did. 
but then you also see some kind of recanting, you know, of where they 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 do want to repair it. Um, and again, it's 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 something maybe that it's very hard to swallow for us today um, in our the way that we view things, and that's a that's an attestment to to society moving forward. And yet, and yet, and yet you still see four thousand years. Right. You know, like the um, uh, you, you 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 say Hamas. You know, Hamas. Hamas went in and 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 attacked unprovoked people who are totally innocent, including a nine month old baby. I mean, and yeah. and other youngsters. It's not, and that's that's four thousand years afterwards. No, so, forget Hamas. Humanity hasn't changed. You're right. Four thousand has... years. They're fighting all over the world. Right. Humanity has not. Humanity has changed very little. We're 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 very sophisticated in our our technology and our 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 warfare and our our but a lot of the values have not changed almost one iota maybe not in the same numbers um but really acts wise i don't know if anything any much has changed really not not much has changed so it's uh in in, in any event uh, the the i th th this is also a segue <clears throat> This is also a segue into the next book, which Benjamin plays a very important part. That is also part of why this book ends the way that it does um, and doesn't end with Shimshon, which was really the last Shofet. So it's 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 a segue into um, into the book of Kings, which is the next books that were coming. But you're absolutely right, Mark. Um, it is it's it's this is very, very, very gruesome. OK, so. They were short by 200 women. They didn't have enough. Now the people had relented towards Benjamin. They have, um, they, they changed their way in terms of how they thought of, of Benjamin. They wanted to, to bring them closer. Um, for God hath made a breach in the tribes of Israel. There's a crack. There was a separation between Benjamin and the other tribes. And so the elders of the community said, How? What are we supposed to do to the other 200? For there are no more women left in the tribe of Benjamin. So how are we supposed to repair this? And for they said, There must be a saving remnant for Benjamin, the tribe did not be blotted out of Israel. In other words, there is a need. Yes, yes, Peter. Just un just unmute yourself. Yeah, sorry. Somebody's talking on the phone, and uh, it's hard to hear you. I muted them. Okay, good. Thank you. And so, um, so let me just go back quickly. Again, there was a, a shortage of. 200, which is if you, I guess, look at it, if I'm if I'm right, there's one third, right? So in other words, a third, a third. That's my quick math. Um, are you smarter than a grade uh, than a grade, you know, fiver? I think I would have passed it. There you go. So a third are still um, uh, have have no uh, no brides, so to speak, and so these Israelites still are grappling with this issue. How are we supposed to make sure that um, that 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 they're they're they they're not wiped out? But we are still unable to give them, to give them wives from our women. For we have we have made an, an oath, a vow. Um, he who gives uh, cursed be anyone who gives a wife to Benjamin. And that's that's now we're moving into another section. Okay, so again the solution the solution was. Number one, that that city was wiped because they separated themselves. They did not; they were not included, or they they did not want to be included in the war against Benjamin. So that's number one, and number two, those women were permissible because because they were not at the war. They did not make the vow. Okay, so it's not not as a punishment they were given, but because they were not as part of that vow. All right, let's continue. They said the annual feast of God is now being held at Shiloh, which lies north of Beth Bethel, 
and east of the highway that runs from Beth El to Shechem, um, Lilvona, south of Lilvona. So they're, just, they're kind of giving us they're giving us ways. If you if you had ways, you know, on your donkey, then you can put up you you put it into your 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 ways, um, and now you know how to get to Shiloh. Vait Savu at Bnei Lemor. So they instructed the Benjaminites as follows. Lechu va'araftema bachramim. Go and lie in wait in the vineyards. Now, by the way, what is this Chag? We're going to find out what exactly this holiday is. All right? It does the Chag, Hashem. We're going to, let's find out what kind of festival this is. Uritem. As soon as you see the daughters of Shiloh coming out to join in the dances, come out from the vineyards, <coughs> let each of you seize a wife from among the daughters of Shiloh, and be off for the land of Benjamin. What does it sound like, by the way? Any... Hostages, hostages. Basic, ba basically, basically, uh, go in and 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 grab yourself. It's, it's it's grab a wife, you know, event. You know what I mean? Go in and 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 seize yourself a wife. And if their fathers or brothers come to us to complain, in other words, to the to the army, be generous to them. It's, it's a, 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 a okay. We could not provide any of them with wife. So we could not provide any of them with a wife on account of the war, and you would have incurred guilt if you yourself had given them wives. In other words, in other words, what are they doing? Does anybody see what's happening? They're what not exactly? breaking their oath. How? How is that? Well, because the Benjaminites are going and grabbing the women. They're taking them without asking permission. Or <laughs> Beautiful. So they're, they right now are actually playing the linguistic game. And they're saying, we promised that we cannot give any of our daughters, any of our daughters away to the Benjaminites. But it does not say that the Benjaminites can take daughters from amongst us. That is really what, what they're saying. And they're trying to appeal to the to the people saying, listen, have mercy, understand that later on, if God forbid they are, you know, the, the Benjamin the Benjamin is wiped out, we're gonna feel guilty. Why didn't we intervene in some way or matter? So in other words, they finally found a way, kind of, whether it's very difficult to assume, etc. Um, but they kind of found a way of 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 circumventing um this situation okay vayasuken bene israel vayasuken bene vinyamin vayisu nashim lemisparam and so the benjaminites did so they took to wife from the dancers whom they carried off as many as they themselves numbered in other words 200 um, Asher Gazalu, which they wrote, they returned back to their inheritance. They finally rebuilt their cities and they sat in them. Thereupon the Israelites dispersed to their own tribes and clans. Finally, this whole gathering of this war where everybody came uh, to Shiloh, that was the meeting place. Um, the finally, this whole episode of of this civil war, and everybody was finally was able to return home. In those days, there was no king in Israel. Everyone did as they pleased. This is the end. I just wanted to end with the followers. It's 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 a full story. Do you, do you remember this? Do you remember the cyclical of uh, uh, I, I mentioned in the book of Judges was always a cyclical kind of like a repetition of of a certain um, um, snowball effect. The Israelites sin, 
God brings forth someone who is a leader in the form of a, of a shofet. They cry out and the shofet helps them get out of the yak. And, and finally, they, 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 they feel um, a peace times. As they feel a bit peaceful, what happens? They, they, they go off the path again. They sin. God punishes them. They cry. God gives them uh, a shofet, brings forward a savior, so to speak, somebody who can direct them, uh, lead them. Yes. They repent. And finally, they're saved again. And this cyclic, this, it, it's a cycle. And now we have, in the end, we have almost the same kind of structure. So we have the story of this man who, whose wife leaves him. And if you look at that story, and this is almost a story in reverse, right? Now, now it's permit the, the, the Israelites permitted because of their miscalculation or misdoing, blah, blah, however you want to look at it, kind of whatever happened in that story that they came out to fight against that city that created and perpetrated that, that you know, um, uh, the, against, against the concubine, they're kind of saying now the Benjaminites are permitted to go out and capture for themselves what, what, uh, anybody who they needed because it was necessary. Uh, again, I'm not uh, uh, the, uh, with the Benjaminites. At least there was a purpose for what they were doing. <laughs> with the with the concubine, it was just for self, you know, uh, uh, pleasure, etc. However, you want to look at it. in terms of there was no real uh, gain for for the perpetrators. They just wanted to to um, uh, put the letter of the law. Maybe there was no they, they weren't allowed to have any uh, guests in that city. That was in chapter 19. But if you look at it in terms of action. It's almost exactly in reverse, but this time it was it was kind of given it was given the the go ahead. It was almost like a they found a caveat of why it is allowed, and that is kind of why it ends off with Ish Hayashar Benav Asa Yase. There was no there was no leadership that could enforce um, um, that could really enforce the purpose, and 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 you know the the it it is it, it is very very difficult. Um, uh, uh, how, how do you say it? You know, it was sad in the condition of any people who act without some, um, you know, definitely fixed principles. You know, passion moves to purpose only as it is governed by principle. And here they did not have principles, so kind of they had to govern and make up principles because of I mean, what it was. It was making the rules as they went. Because of what was what they needed, as opposed to following guidelines from the beginning, can you see it? Can you see that? Can you see this the story? Kind of like it's all it's all cyclical. Yep. It's a little bit. Yeah. yeah I I know it's been a while for us to remember the entire story. Um. <laughs> but basically, like in a nutshell, it 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 rolls forward and then full circle back to almost where they started, because they did not even even if they tried to actually do that which was right. And that is why it ends off with the pasuk. That they did what was almost at that moment, as opposed to having clear guidelines. But this is um, the built up of of the next the next book, which is Malachim, which I suggest is is anybody everybody in agreement we continue with Malachim. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, no, beautiful. So we'll continue with Malachim, and you will see kind of the the continuation because it's a continuation from from Shevet Binyamin. This is where the first the first Melch comes from. So in other words, at the end of it, if I can, I even though even though the way or the means was actually wrong, <clears throat> at the end they thank God that they actually helped sustain and make sure that Binyamin did not lose. Um, uh, we did not lose that lineage. Right, uh, Moses says that we, we will not lose one tribe from Israel. Um, and our sages explained to us that they re they realized um, uh, if we look back in the story with with uh, Pinchas, that was in chapter twenty when when the Israelites first lost to the Benjaminites. Every time he went back to ask the God, why did he do it? Because the, the, the he did not receive a clear message. Why? Because not all the Israelites were present. Benjamin was not there. And God really, the, the, the idea is that God shows, or when we have, uh, uh, when we have our, our nation together, that is when God comes down. Only the third time, only the third time 
did did God finally give them clear um, uh, message that now you will defeat the Benjaminites? But until then, it was it didn't make sense. What was happening, etc. Some commentators explain one of the reasons why they did not win the first one or two, and that is why they went back and and they looked at why why did we lose, and they recognized that one city did not did not join in with them. So they were actually not all present in terms of a front. And that is mm -hmm. also one of the reasons why they felt that they had to kill the, the citizens of Yavesh Gilbo. It's a little bit, con it, it, it's, it's a very convoluted uh, story. It's not straight out. Um, but really, like I say, the, the, it's the demonstration of how, how low they reached. And we have to remember again, what started this whole thing was that he gave his concubine and then he ripped her up in 12 pieces just to show how how badly she was treated. Imagine he 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 desecrated the body to show them how badly she was treated. Who's calling the kettle black? Again, everything is it's and that is what that is all that is again all has to do with Ishaya Sharbina. He decided to cut her up to demonstrate who gave him the right to do that. Ish hayashar ben When he had, everyone did, it's, it's not even as a, a, the translation of everyone did as they pleased. Ish hayashar ben yase. That which they deemed to be correct, they did. In other words, everyone did as, everyone did what they believed was the correct thing. As they deemed it to be. As they judged it, that's what they did. And that is a very, very, very dangerous, dangerous society, as demonstrated by the story. And that is how it ends in terms of this is how the kings take over and how they have to shape the nation into one unified unified people, mm -hmm. which is what we're going to start seeing. At, at least um, here, here, we, here we see that, that you can't have 12 entities that are not governed. And I think it, it's very similar to um, if you look at Canada, if you look at the United States, you know, you have, you have, you know, the, the, we have our provinces and the territories. And then we have, you know, in the States, even though they're not exactly the same, but the structure is similar. You know, you have all the, all the states which are independent one of another. You know, you can, they can make rules what, you know, there are things that are, 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 are provincially run. But then we also have at the end, we have a blanket that keeps all the provinces together under one one roof. Mm -hmm. And then there's federal kind of rules. So here we had 12 provinces, so to speak, and each one did what they did, but there was no answerable as a union together. And that is really what we're going to have. We're going to have a federal, a king, so to speak, a federal uh, government who comes, who is established and finally is able to enforce certain unities throughout this kingdom in order to create this, the principles that are going to be. And once there are principles, then the people know how to run by. That not not everybody can make their own decision of what of ishayashar ben aviase. What you deem as to be correct, that's what you do. And that is that is the the segue into um, the book of Kings. Any 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 questions? You see, I cannot help it, but somehow, well, I don't know why it reminds me of the story of Dina when Shimon and Levi went and killed people because they thought they do the right thing. I don't know. There is no connection, but somehow I see some kind of a connection. Um, because that, it's I, so I'll that, find Can you a little bit help me here? Sure. So I, Irene is, is, is talking about actually the story which God willing will read on Shabbat. So on Shabbat, we'll read the story of Dina Bat Yaakov, Bat Le'a Bat Yaakov. Dina, Dina, the daughter of, of Jacob, goes out and, and Shechem ben Chamor, um, uh, he, he, he takes her captive. And Vayaneha, uh, it says, and, and, and he, he, he rapes her. Um, and he doesn't want to let her go. And uh, so th the, the brothers um, devise a plan um, where... Where they say, listen, you know what? If you and, and and sorry, he goes out. He goes. Shem goes to to Yaakov and sends us, uh, telling him, listen, I love your daughter. It's a love story, oh, actually. I, 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 not quite, because it's a forced love story. It's not. It's not a love story. It's it's he. It's from his perspective. He says he loves her. He wants to marry her. What should he do? He's willing to pay a huge dowry. 
to which the brothers um, say, you know what? We can't, we can't have our daughter, our sister, marry somebody who is not circumcised. And so if you are not circumcised, we will have to take our daughter, our sister back. However, if the entire town, if you, if you, if you um, circumcise your entire town, then we will be happy to not only with not only our sister, we will mingle together, we will live together, we will give our daughters, we will take your daughters, and we'll become we'll, we'll, we'll become kinsmen. Um, to which Hamor says, you know, goes back to his city and says, "Listen, I I I I, I have a proposition for you. They're they're wealthy, um, they're they're very well to do. Um, let's why not integrate them into our our city? Let's." Uh, let let's get married to them, and they'll get married to our daughters, and 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 we'll take from their daughters, etc. But the only thing that they ask is that we we get circumcised, and and they all decide to do that. And on the third day, Shimon and Levi come in and wipe them out and take their daughters. Oh, it's a very cruel trickery. It's such a trickery, so cruel. It, again, I it is. But you you know what? We have this. If, if anybody the the. The rule of that day that anybody who and we have it too, anybody who is who 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 rapes um, a, a girl is put to to death. That is a rule. That is a rule. Uh, a Torah rule. In other words, if that happens, if God forbid a rape happens and we found out who who raped a girl, that the rapist is put to death. If it's one person, then it should right. be one person. Not but all they time. all they were all accessories. They were all accessories in the sense that he was the leader. He was he was the 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 head of that city, and as such, they fall under. In other words, this is what they this is was permissible in that city. Do you understand? In other words, if the king can do that, then do, do make a, a, a such a felony, then obviously that was permitted there. That whole city is is was was full of 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 literally Hamas, full full of 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 disgust. Yeah. And they were also part parcel of it. In so terms what of Rabbi uh, say? In, what the most rabbis say they did wrong, right? Pardon? The most rabbis interpret it as very bad. They did bad thing. Who? Shimon and Levi. Later so, on, Yaakov, when Yaakov finds about it, he does reprimand them. Yes. And not only that, he also later on when he blesses them, he reminds them that when they are together. They're, they 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 are potent. They're kind of like you know, like adding two agents that when do together, they they create a dangerous uh, product. And that is why Yosef, if you remember Yosef, what does Yosef do when 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 he meets them when he's the king? What does he do? What's the first thing he does? Who does he, who does he throw in jail? Uh... He throws Shimon. If you remember, he leaves Shimon in jail and he tells them to go. While they were there, why? Because if Shimon and Levi got together, perhaps they would get angry and they would start also some kind of of, of uprising. Uh -huh. In other words, together they were they had they had this this they had this um, um, symbiotic relationship that they were, you know, like like they created. Okay, so again, Irene, I I understand what you're saying. Um, but like I, I, I mentioned to uh, to Mark, we also have to understand that there were also certain rules and principles that were in 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 place then. Um, maybe today those are not exactly the way we maybe would have taken to court, etc. But in those days, there 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 was no that that's how people settled their scores. I mean, look at look at look at uh, Yaakov and Esav. You know, Esav came there to to to, to kill him. Who gave him permission to kill him? Whatever he did. So take him to court and sell. Listen, you ripped this out. You owe me such and such a blessing and blah, blah, blah. Resign, you know, resignate, uh, you know, uh, send it over to me. And and and, and, and uh, this. Why, why, why don't you say? And if you look at the whole the whole play to begin with, Yaakov and Yisav made a deal. It's Yisav that is actually not following the deal. So it's it, it, it's a little bit, it's not that, it's not clear cut. Um and I don't want to go there. This is not. This is a, a, a different topic. But I guess what is the common theme between the story Irene that you mentioned and and the 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 last chapter is we have to understand that when we read it, 
some, it is difficult things and very gruesome, and we've read some 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 very disturbing um, um, episodes. But also, we have to understand that this this is not today, and yet, as we we as well would mention with Mark, we still find today behavior that is not that far off from that. It's uh, today, but today in October seven, it's worse. Yeah, not even not even not even October. You look look at you know what what in Africa what happens to, to to girls. I mean, go go look you know in in other countries what happens to um, you know if, uh, uh, same thing. If 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 you know you're 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 caught stealing, they they, they, they you know they 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 they, they, they how do you call it? they'll take a hand off. You know, or they'll cut your hand off. You're 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 caught this and that. Or if you're gay, you know, you're you're hung. Uh, it's there's 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 other things where. Even today, there these rules are still enforced. Today, not four thousand years ago. Today, mm -hmm. so if anything, we have we have we have to thank in terms of I mean, thank. It, it does. It happens. Hatred happens today. Where 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 you know where where the vatayir is 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 assaulted, and by 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 extension, that's really us. And and, and it, it, it was meant as as. As definitely an anti-Semitic and anti-Jewish to scare um, the, the the writing on on the sidewalk near uh, Maimonite in 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 Saint Laurent, all these stuff, the shooting and all that stuff at at at, at Yeshiva Gdola at at, at uh, um, uh, you know near the wall. This is this is all this is all happening today in in Canada in in a very stabbings that you know because you're all that they're they're, they're all infused these are these are people who really haven't even don't don't accept you know our regulations to speak you know they feel that they can do what that which they deem as being correct they don't follow the law they don't follow the law i feel that this is justice so this is what i'm going to do and then you take the justice they take they take matters into their own hands very dangerous where we're living You're very very dangerous it says on your screen, in those days there was no king. Everyone did as they pleased. It's beyond as they pleased. Ish hayashar, whatever they deemed, whatever they saw as being just. In other words, from their perspective, they it, thought that that was the right thing. That right. Then they did it. It's even worse. It's not that they just did anything. They even but, justified it that that was allowed for them to do. No, wild, wild life. Yeah, yeah. Clearly, Ish Hayashar ben Avasa, whatever he felt was was deemed as as appropriate, did it in his eyes. Then he did it. It's it's it, really it's difficult to read our story. Our stories are very difficult to read. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what's interesting? Different rabbis explain it differently. So what I wanted to know because I don't know what rabbis. How did rabbis explain? I thought I lost it, and he came back. Did they hear me? Hello? Yeah. What, what were you saying, Irene? I'm sorry. I want to know how did rabbis uh, explain Shimon and Levi? Did they do right thing or did they do wrong thing? Because Yaakov was upset and Yaakov reprimanded. I think he even didn't bless them. I think when he died, he did not bless Shimon and Levi. I think so. so I don't... It, it, interesting. I'll, 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 I'll share with you the exact so, so I don't quote it wrong, but let me show you what he blesses them. In Vayechi. Are you ready for the words? Yeah. Are you ready for the words? Yeah. Listen to this. Okay. Listen to this. Yeah. Okay. And I can even show you. Are My you ready question. for this? Yeah, very much. So. Okay. I'm going to show you what the words are by going to, but you know, you know what we'll do? I'm going to end this session because this is this is for this session. I'm going to just stop. Okay.